Si ve que me le da Y me lo Y me lo Y me lo Si ve que me la Si ve que me la Jesus, over the kaki, imela, 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 chime kimela, wasi chime kimela, imela, imela, imela. Toss us the Lord, 
for making us a winner. Just says the Lord, for making us a winner. Are you a winner? 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 Papa 
talk to this God? Why not talk to this God? Why not talk to this God? Why not talk to him? Why not talk to him? This is the time. This is the hour to table your case before him. The prayers you have been praying, those prayer requests you have been asking God, Father, when will it be my turn? My brother, my sister, the time has come. 
double the same case now and you see what the Lord will do the Bible says show me a man that can pray and that will show you a God that can answer prayer the word of God says if there is a man to pray surely there is a God to answer this is the time why not drop that case before him why not talk to him in the language you think he will understand why not table the case before him my brother my sister this is not the time to cry this is not the time to ask questions this is the hour to communicate with the god the, i am that i am Only the person that says the word and they come to pass. Why are you still asking yourself a question? Why are you still doubting? Whether the God you serve will still do it. He did it in the time of Abraham. He did it in the time of Jonah. He did it in the time of David. He did it in the time of Aaron and Moses. Even in your own time, he is unchangeable changer. He was the same yesterday, today and forever. And because of that you will not see you and change why are you still wasting time table those case before him and say the time has come for the vital around him alive if the lord is in our side if the god of jacob is on our side if the god of david is on our side who is that bugger what did you think the enemy can do Talk to him that I see it in the spirit. The Bible says he is the one that knows the end, even from the beginning. What is that you think he don't know? The Bible says I am waiting for you to table the case. Whatsoever you speak to my hearing, that is what I will do. It is not what you think to his to his understanding. He said, What you speak to his hearing is not what you think in your heart, it's not what you cry in your cry, it's not what your tears is talking about. What I hear you speak, what I hear you speak, my brother. Why are you still keeping silent? Open your mouth and speak. He said, put me in a test and see if I will not do what does in your life. Mbara gudike Hakana joti yezo rezo Chimu hodigo nye Dikagi Himala chim yiro kudikuwe Hebu beje jogo dogu Hakana togo nye kechi de kechi Ezem hodigi chi Dikagi Hasimo yiro kudikuwe Hebu benje jogu dogu Hakane meyari nemere nisigi Hezem hodigo nye dikagi Hasimo yiro kudikuwe Hebu benje jogu chim Hakane kunye wanyaka umwa Hezem There is no one like you Boya chika dibye no Boya chika dibye no Somebody open your mouth and talk to him. The glory of God has arrived. The power of God is here this morning. And he will not see you and change. Lika paradis yatarebe. Ekonono sukalada. Shalada ba suku cha parada ba. Leko parade sukada. Ubra liko chopo lida ba lesa cha. Jesus. Kapala da ba shachana ba. Rika 
Father, manifest In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, my Father, my God. My Father, my God. Open doors in my life. Open doors. In Open my doors in my destiny. Open doors in my destiny. Open your mouth and talk to God right now. Father, I demand for open door. Open doors in my life. Open doors in my destiny. Shapa la da da ba ro sho ju ri ko ju ju ko we put you for the weekend. We will have fun. Oh, the couple. Oh, the moon, the reason. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yakanji <laughs> Zakanjina <laughs> Say, my Father, my God, every spirit of delay over my destiny, over my destiny, every spirit of delay, every spirit of delay, over my success, over my success, every spirit of delay, every spirit of delay, over my career, over my career, today, expire by fire, expire by fire, open your mouth and pray the prayer. prayer. Every spirit of the lake over my life, over my family, over my career. Aspire, aspire, aspire. In the name of any spirit of the lay over my life, uh, every spirit of the lay over my in the name of Jesus, uh, I command it to scatter my fire. I command it to scatter my fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, I command it to scatter my fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, I command it to scatter my fire. In the name of Jesus, uh, Scatter, 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 scatter. Every spirit of the lay. Walking against my life. Every spirit of the lay. Walking against my life. In the name of Jesus. Let it be strong. In the name of Jesus. Let it be strong. 
I command your to frustrate in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of delay that does not want me to be where the Lord wants me to be. Any spirit of delay that has been limited by you. Any spirit of delay that has been limited by you. Any spirit of delay that is not giving me the speed. Any spirit of delay that is not making me to be where my gift was. And strength of the days. What are you waiting for? Any spirit of delay. I command you. Against my calling, against my business, all your spirits of delay, against my education, against my destroy, I command you, oh, yeah, be the sword, be nullify, be nullify. In the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, fire. Somebody shout fire. 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 F
Jesus, the rock of Gibraltar. Elohim is your name. Adonai is your name. Glorify your name, Father. Prove your power. Let the works of the enemy be obedience to the Almighty God. And let your name be lifted higher. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Do something for Jesus, you get seated. Praise the Lord. 
praise the Lord. Maybe they should touch this mic for me. Amen. Are you ready for a miracle today? Is somebody ready today for a miracle? Yes, sir. If you are ready, can I hear your amen like thunder? Amen. Amen.
Revelation 5 from verse 1 to 5. I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and within and on the backside, sealed with the seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof? Verse 3. And no man in heaven, nor on earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I weep much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the and to read the book, neither to look thereon. Verse 5. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of tribe of Judah, the root of David, are prevailed to open the book and to lose the seal, the seven seal thereof. Can I hear a better amen? Amen. I want to preach on the message I titled Weep No More. Weep No Weep No The Bible says the man they called John had a revelation. The Bible says in the revelation the angel of the Lord shook him and showed him seven seals. Seven seals. And we are looking for whom to open the sea. Let me tell you something. Ability to see in the spirit is one thing. And ability to settle the problem is another thing. Is somebody hearing me? It's not he that has the privilege to see. Have the ability to settle it. There are people that have this ability to step into the realm of the spirit because it's a gift to discover what is happening in the realm of the spirit to see the vision of life on a particular situation to see the problem but the grace to solve the problem may not be there it's possible and some people will now say they, are, they can see all things but they cannot solve the problem Yes, it's possible because grace differs. John was able to see the vision. And the Bible said that the angel told him, We have looked upon the earth, throughout the earth, nobody was worthy. Nobody was worthy to redeem man from the bondage, to set man free from the trauma, from the challenge, from the pain, from the persecution of man. There was nobody worthy over those situations. And people are crying. Let me tell you the reason some people are flocking into occultic power is because they feel there is no longer power in the church. The reason some people are going to native doctor. Some are going to S and Y, going to all kinds of a thing to look for God where there is no God because they have come to the church. They were not able to find the power of God in the church. And when the power of God was not able to found in the church, people are desperate. People are thirsty of power. Is somebody other me? The Bible said nobody was worthy to open the shield. And the Bible said, and John cried. Many have been weeping because their problem cannot be settled. Many have been weeping because they are passing through sorrow. Many have been weeping. They are passing through frustration. Many have been weeping because the enemy have put them in everlasting captivity. And they are crying for a solution. They are crying for the problem to be solved. And yet they could not find solution in the house of God. Somebody heard me. All power belongs to God. All power belongs to God. Whether negative or positive belongs to God. But the power of the enemy 
is the power of God that was corrupted. Is somebody hearing me? The power of God that was corrupted. Sometimes I'll be amazed. I even see some pastors, some ministers of God looking for power where there is no power. Because there is an ultimate power. There is a power that supersedes every other power. The Bible says, for God is the father of all spirits. It means every spirit must come to the obedience of the authority of Christ. Is somebody other man? Whether power on earth, whether power in heaven, whether power beneath the earth, the Bible says they must bow down to the authority of Christ. Then the question is, why is it that the people are looking for power in the church, yet they could not be able to find the power because nobody was able to open the seal? Is somebody here me? Nobody was able to deliver them from the bondage. Nobody was able to set them free. Nobody was able to manifest the power of God upon their life. Is somebody get to me? When you are gifted without anointing, it is it's too risky to be gifted without anointing. We are all equal in fellowship, but what makes us different is the anointing. The church is a place that has the higher dimension of power, but yet people see the church as the most powerless place. People see the church as if God is no longer there. Why? Because people have disappointed God. The Bible says when you see the abomination of the desolation in the holy place, it says, He that readeth, let him think it. When the abomination of desolation is found on a holy place, we are living in a generation that people no longer want to serve God. They want what God can give to them, but they are not ready to serve God. In everything you do in life, there is always a principle. Is somebody hear me? If you go to the kingdom of darkness, they have their principles. That is the reason when you now manifest power beyond other people, people will look at it and give the credit to the devil and say he's occultic. What makes him occultic? Because he manifests power beyond his knowledge. The church has one knowledge. They have one particular knowledge, believing that this is the level they believe their God can get to. Some people believe that God cannot use somebody until they work gradual process. Is somebody hearing me? So whenever they see God beyond their knowledge, they will no longer believe it. They target something else. Is somebody hearing me? Whatsoever the devil is doing, there is original somewhere. The devil is showcasing himself to look so beautiful, attractive, because he knows when you discover the original, you have the ultimate power. Is somebody getting me? He has the ultimate power. People no longer believe in ministries. They don't believe in prophets. The reason? Because people have abused the office. People have abused the office of a prophet. When you get to a prophet, there is something you are looking onto. There is something that it has been your desire. Why some people are the ones stopping their miracle? Is somebody here to me? Some people also stop their miracle by themselves. Because any prophecy you never fight for will never come to reality. Any prophecy you never fight for will not come to reality. Until you walk with the prophecy. Is somebody here to me? And some people will tell you, all oh, these miracle seekers. Let me tell you, without miracle, the gospel is not complete. If you like, you preach all kinds of salvation. If the miracle is not attached to it, it is not the gospel. The Bible said, go here into the world, preaching my gospel, for I will follow you to confirm it with what? Signs and what? Wonders. So when the signs and wonders is not attached to the gospel, it has no power. Is somebody get to me? Like the man, the, the people will pray for on Sunday. You know, on Sunday, a woman at Easton on the church, she had a, his lungs was blocked and uh, 
he has some other issues that made her she cannot talk she cannot do anything and uh, she's long she couldn't breathe they have to fix her and ask you this family have been going to church they believe in god but they have not seen the power of god they have not experienced the power in another dimension but the brother of the woman was coming to church and they brought the picture the pictures i prayed for on sunday here during the sunday program, i prayed for them on friday i told them what will happen and it, they told them and the thing happened and they said as of that sunday the woman has not talked she couldn't talk and while we was praying i said after prayers from that time to evening the woman would talk she would talk with people she would do things with the people and behold exactly the sunday evening when the husband went to go and see him, see her automatically the tongue was loose everything happening to the woman disappeared the woman woke up and got herself and, and when the husband saw him he called the man and said true true what the man of god said is true that the woman now can talk she can do anything she breathed well the oxygen was removed she's okay and normal somebody get to me because there is power of god why there is no far place in the spirit for miracle not to happen is somebody here to me the bible said why jesus was coming to the central man's house he sent the second soldier he said charlie i am a man of authority i am not worthy for he to capture my heart speak thy word only and something will happen for i am a man that have many soldiers i send them to do this and they do it and i believe you are the man that carries spiritual soldiers send them for an assignment and something will happen and Jesus said, I have not seen such a great faith in Israel. And the Bible said, and Jesus speak a word. And said, let that be made whole. And uh, immediately, at that particular same hour, the word that Jesus speak carried power. He hit the, 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 the child. And automatically, the suffered and become normal. Because when power jump power, lesser power shall bow. somebody here to me there is nothing God cannot do a woman that came back from abroad yesterday she began to have a spinal cord problem pains all over her body she was shouting or she called me on phone she said man of God I don't know I'm dying I said what is going on he said he came back from the village his spinal cord is severe pain pain all over her body please sir what can I do I said hold your phone I'm going to speak a word and power of God will hit you in your house. Something will happen. Automatically, I was praying. While I was praying, the whole pain disappeared. When I finished prayer, I said, Man of God, when you are praying, I have a sensation in my body. And I see myself, I can get up. And automatically, the pain in my body left me. Why? When power is at work, the devil cannot resist it. Is somebody getting me? There is authority that passes authority. There is a grace that passed grace. The Bible said, let every man prophesy according to the level of his grace. The second person we prayed on Sunday is a kidney problem. The sister of this young man at the back that has kidney problem. They have gone to two hospitals. They confirm a kidney problem. And everybody we are panicking. You know, when they tell you you have kidney problem, you're already writing your will. Because it's 50-50. Everybody were crying. How come this kidney problem? Which means because what they tell you somebody have kidney problem, you already know you will not live long. Is a management. You will be managing it, going for dialysis, waiting for the time it will come. The same Friday we prayed for the sister. I prayed for her on Sunday. On Sunday I pray. I command the kidney problem disappear. On Friday we prayed, and on Sunday I told her, I saw an angel of the Lord doing an operation in the life of your sister, and uh, she'll be fine. On Monday, when I called him, I asked him, how is your sister now? Because God told me 
they have settled the case. I want to know physically what is going on. He said, Pastor, I don't know what to say. Do you know, after the prayers, we now went to text. After all the check of the text, behold, there was no trace of kidney problem anymore. They said the only thing that they found is typhoid and malaria. And she has been discharged from the hospital and she is at home now. Because the enemy came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came to give life and life in abundance. I come to prophesy to somebody by the mandate of God in my life, God shall give you life. Amen. God shall settle your case. Amen. It 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 shall settle your case. Can I hear a noble light Amen. There is a God that cannot fail. There is a God that cannot change. All he needs is only belief. Belief. All things are possible. One day I was preaching. I never knew that one of my members has been dying of kidney problem. I preached to an extent the power was so heavy on me. I say, is there anybody in this house you have a critical problem? Or sickness that are troubling you. And the man was not a dead role here. The man gets up. I said, What is happening to you? He said, I have kidney problem. I said, Come, impress me. The man impressed me. I said, Go for text. Sound kidney and in your ear. Belly now. And the man was afraid. Later on, he went to test. Behold, they said, Nothing is wrong with you. What, why did you come for test? He had to show them the former text. So they said my kidney have been affected, it's damaged. Now the new text said, two new sound kidneys. That is God for you. What is that thing God cannot do? What is that problem that Jehovah cannot settle? All you need is just to believe. Only believe all things are possible. Weep no more. The time of tears has passed. The time you cry, the time you are asking God a question. Oh God, does you still exist? Did you still exist? Oh God, we are you. Today, that God will answer you. Amen. I said that God will answer you. Amen. 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 Can I hear a name like your dad? Amen. Who is stopping you to be happy in life? Who said you will not succeed? Who said you will not become who God have destined you to be? Who is fighting over your success and said over the other body? They will not see you make it in life. They will not see you man to something. There is a God that never fails. Uh -huh. Christianity without power is a male religion. The Bible said them that have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. He said, from such people, keep off. From such people, keep off. Because they have a form of godliness. They live a righteous life, but there is no power back in them. Those people are Christmas goods. We are living in era of spiritual things. Era that if you don't have a spiritual backup, you cannot stand. I was telling the workers last night, because we are here since night, we are we, uh, we did the workers' night. I was telling them that on the social media, I saw the man they call Shawore, the former presidential candidate, going to court with his own native doctor. Very proud. Very proud. He said, that is what I believe. And he's anywhere he's moving in the high court, the native doctor is following him, shaking the, the thing. He's shaking it and he's following him. And they ask him, who is this? He said, it's my spiritual list. The man he believes on. The man he stands for. The man that makes him who he is. The man that backs him up spiritually. The man didn't wear coat. He wear native doctor regalia. And came to high court in Abuja. During the time 
to enter court. They asked you, whatever. Well, why did you bring the man? He said, so that if anybody wants to manipulate the chief justice, the man will manipulate him back. So that no power can function. If these people on a high level of this can understand the spirituality and one stupid person living in face me and face you, I'm talking, I'm talking against people that, that, that walk on the spirit because they don't know that you can't live on earth with that spiritual backup. The devil is not afraid of you. The devil is afraid of your spiritual backup. Is somebody here me? Because he knows that is your backbone. I watched it to an extent when they enter court. No police, no TSS. Stop the native doctor. What they not target? Nigeria is a place freedom of worship. You are free to worship anything. You see, a native doctor enter. They do his incantation. They enter enter court. And when he enter court, they wear the roll. We are the man sit down. Everybody leave the full roll for the man. And the cameraman went and focused on the native doctor. Inside the high court in Abuja. The cameraman was, and the man was at the back of Shuri there doing his incantation. And the cameraman was busy videoing him. He's doing incantation. Shuri has every boldness because his spiritualist, his spiritual father is there for him. Tomorrow you will see Shuri come out and begin to talk against a pastor. Who is somebody's spiritual father? Is somebody here to me? But he cannot insult this spiritualist. He cannot broadcast him anyhow on the media. And when he talk against believers, some believers will say, "No mind them. All these pastors see you. People that stand against pastors, do you know what they believe on? Do you know their own spiritualist? They can't drag their spiritualist because they know if you drag them, they will kill you." Is somebody hearing me? One man of God was talking. He said, God does not kill anybody. I said, hey, make it come here. I know whether God is kill or not. Is somebody hearing me? God does not kill anybody. I look at the man. I said, who kill a heart? Who kill a Herod? The Bible says he made an oration, making himself like God. After he killed him, he tried to kill Peter. The angel came and released Peter. And he made an oration, make himself like God. The Bible said the angel of the Lord smote him and he died. Is somebody hearing me? He died. Nobody we got to kill him. You don't dare God, you don't challenge God. The children of the Lord are the apple of God's eye. There are people you don't touch. Is somebody getting me? You have been crying for a long time, looking for a solution. Oh God, settle my case. There are people what they pass through. If it pass half of what they pass through, you will not blame them of going to a native doctor. Maybe one pastor or one prophet that deceived him, collect all he all he has. He have to go back to. The, and I've never seen somebody that come out and say native doctor collect my money. Do you think they know they give money? A young man came to me here when I delivered him. He says, "Sir, please." I went to a place in Enugu where you enter there for them to do some incantation for you to make money. You pay seven million. I said, who said get seven million get money now? He said he don't have up to the seven. He have to go and borrow and join it and pay so that he can be a more time in here. I said, seven million is enough for you to start up something. And when he returned, nothing happened. He can't go there and quarrel with them. And yet, nothing is moving. They are coming back to ask him for percentage. He said they told him whatsoever you achieve is 50-50. God is saying only 10%. Some people are on the social media winding their mouth. Only 10%. 50-50. The boy is coming to church. Anything you get, divide it into two. You know, once he says he's an idol, he will divide it well. If it's not God, they say we don't know how to calculate uh, the 10% of God. Idol, they calculate on well. The month the guy didn't see money to pay 50-50. They come after the boy, threatening his life. That would, they would take away his life if he don't redeem that 50. Second time the guy borrow money, go and pay 15%. And when the guy couldn't do it again, he now ran to me and came to this place. 
please deliver me. Is somebody hearing me? After his deliverance, he was free. The idol, see power, idol run. Somebody get to me. The Bible says, in the days of his power, people shall be willing. Who stand for you? Who is your spiritual father? Some abuse their spiritual father. Some talk nonsense against their spiritual father. Every president of any world has a spiritual source. Any senator of any world has a spiritual source. Is somebody hearing me? Many countries are joining the Illuminati and they stand for it and they are fighting for the Illuminati. And tomorrow they will tell you uh, uh, there is nothing like Christianity. Go there, they brainwash you. Who is brainwashing them in the Illuminati? This time around, native doctors are very bold. They come on the social media and tell you the things they are doing. Do you know that native doctors get more fans than pastors on the social media? Native doctors, they get more fans. Who are the people watching them? Christians. Who? Christians. They will tell you that tradition. Tradition. One day I was going on my phone. I saw native doctor making incantation. A pastor I know. We are saying amen on a comment. Pastor. And tell his uh, uh, what our fathers get for us. This, that, that. What is the one of Christ? They will tell you that the church is a uh, tradition. They brought it to us. Church is a real truth and a real fact. And when you read the scripture, you understand it. But the only thing is that we have some people who have come into the church that are novice, who are there to extort from people, turning the church as if it's no longer the reality of Christ as God made it to be. But in everything that has fake, there is still original. There are fake native doctors. They don't get power. They still collect your yam and your farm. Chop, nothing will happen. Is somebody at me? They collect those things, they can't do anything. They do the thing, no work. So it is we have it in ministry and in pastors. Stand on your ground and be proud. So right now, do you think that if the native God will tell him, oh yeah, start jumping up? He will start jumping up. Because he don't know what the spiritual meaning is all about. That was a man he believed. But in the church, he tell, tell somebody to do something. So we even ignore you. Imagine last time my pastor told somebody, please join them and mop altar. The lady is present. Dump everything, turn around and go. And tomorrow you'll be in the church. Go oh down, come down and manifest your power. How will God come down? The same house of God you refuse to keep clean. The same place you want God to come down and answer you. You may remain there forever. Your miracle will never happen. Nothing will take the place of God in your life. Nothing will take the place of God in your destiny. Stand in God. There are people who have not believed in miracle. A man they call uh, Professor Kamibo in UNA. He's in the faculty of agriculture. He's a professor from Obor. There was a time the man was on stroke. The wife has cancer. And there's somebody told them about me. Uh, I have to fly from Lagos here to go to Enugu to that meeting. And when I get to the place, the apartment in Ishoka, I found out that the professor was a committed Catholic. In the entrance, she will have a chaplain 15 decades. When you get to inside the house, you will see big one, 15 decades. You will see his altar. It's a committed Christian. Is a committed church goer. But in all those things, he don't believe in miracle. That is a problem. Why? He have not seen it. There are some reverend fathers that pray miracles are happening. But these people, this one does not believe there is miracle. The reason he permitted me to come, he had been hearing what God has been doing through me. He said, let's give him a prayer. So when I came, they told me the woman has cancer. They were planning to travel to America for her surgery. By God's 
grace, we started prayer that night. Jehovah saw faith. The man, the professor, God healed him from stroke. He began to walk. The next thing, they told me if the, their, their wife is healed, they will give me 100,000. You know, that time in ministry, I was still hungry. 100,000 was too big for me. I said, show 100,000. Karadaba. Because in your Jodi Biafra, much of you. Amen. That time, 100,000 was like 1 million to me. You know, when hunger have why are you in ministry? That you see every door as a breakthrough. Amen. Even when I entered that flight that time, I was snapping. <laughs> Poster. You know, somebody that entered flight in you, it's not easy. You snap. Up way to Enugu now. I send so that people will know I'm arriving out of hunger. Why you see people that are too conscious of <laughs> now hunger they make them do that. They are a level you will get to be not tell people where you are going to. You will hide your journey from people. So that <laughs> because anybody that gets you gets money. If they carry you, anybody that carries you is already blessed. Is somebody anyway? But when you have nothing, you are telling people your movement anywhere you want to go. <laughs> Amen. So that is a sign of poverty when you see people telling you their agendas, their movement. So they are trying to cover up what they have not been enjoying before. Amen. Somebody eating a barbecue fish, snap it, <laughs> send it. <laughs> Maybe now it's first time. No good problem. Somebody heard me. So there was a time we were like that. So when they told me they are going to give me 100,000 cash, the thing triggered the thing inside me. I provoke, I command heaven, Jesus, to intervene. I pray as never before. Jacob first step in, and immediately the power of God hit the woman. After the prayer, cancer disappeared. Why I'm calling the name is for you to make inquiry. He's a professor of agriculture department in UNA. But he's retired now. He's from Obor. But they are still living in UNA. His son, that same day, I prophesied to the son, I prayed for him, and I tell him they are going to make him a bank manager in Zenith. In three months' time, he become a bank manager in Zenith. He now invites me the second time to come. That is how I went to Soka the second time. The sister that were about 48 years, that prayer, the yoke of singlehood was broken. She got married. That one is working in Access Bank. Somebody got to me. They are popular people known, both in their village and in the uh, in the place where they are in Ensoka, once you call Professor Kamibo, he's well known. And Jacoba intervened in their life. Her daughter is a medical doctor in Lagos here. And God said to their case, when God said to the case, what I was interested in was 100,000. When they give me the 100,000, I guide it as if I carry 1 million. You will not blame me there because that was the era of hunger. The 100,000 was so precious to me. Is somebody here me? But God really showed himself. God never failed. I don't know what I've been making you to cry. I don't know what I've been making you to shed tears. I don't know the thing that make you, you don't believe in God anymore. You don't believe in pastors again. Today, I can't just speak to your life. God is going to set you that case. Heaven will set you that case. Jehovah will set you that case. The Lord will set you that case. Can I hear an amen like John Paul? Devil, get power. Is somebody hear me? Devil. Somebody that says, 
say devil has no power. It's just using trick. You never have an encounter with devil. Is somebody on me? I did a deliverance here two weeks ago last week. Last week, Thursday, the demon told me, I'm not going to deal with you because you carry fire. I will deal with your son. I laugh it off. You know, that didn't teach me a lesson. After the prayer, we left. My son, nothing was happening to him. We came back, we played, he slept. Because we slept, two of us slept in the same place. Why? He wake up at the midnight, say he want to ease himself. I took him to the bedroom, he eased himself, he returned. We are still lying down. At the time, my son tapped me. Say, Daddy, I want to ease myself. The second time, that was around four. I tell him, I go down, go and ease yourself. He jumped down from the bed on his own. He went to the bedroom. Returning from the bedroom, the guy began to shake. He couldn't stand. All his body was vibrating. I said, which kind of nonsense is this one? Immediately, the body become like an oval. The hotness of the body was so heavy. The fever was so heavy. The cold was so much. While I was imagining what ah, which kind no, is the person that I said to go and remove himself. Coming back overnight, this thing happened. And God reminded me what the devil said. Immediately, God reminded me I carried him. I began to pray. Karada, so there we are. I began to deal with the altars, deal with the kingdoms, deal with the spirits. Within 10 minutes, everything happening to him disappeared the way he came. Since that time to now, you have not been sick. It's very sound and it's okay. And tomorrow, somebody will tell you, demon has no power. Yeah? Don't say it too much. You made a no yarn. Demon! Come, man, pay later in the day. When the devil was cast down from heaven, the Bible did not make any recommendation that the power was taken away from him because he's one of the archangels. Somebody other me. The, kid, the devil was one of the cherubims, one of the archangels, and also the Bible says he was the only angel that was anointed. Lucifer is the only angel that has anointed. The Bible says, for he was anointed. That anointing the devil has is what is using to do manipulations in today. But I pray for somebody. Anywhere they have been manipulating you, manipulating your life, manipulating your destiny, it will come to an end today. I say it will come to an end today. It will come to an end today. It shall come to an end today. Can I hear a better heaven here? Don't underrate the kingdom of darkness. Don't underrate the powers of the enemy. Fight a good fight of uh, faith. So that you can be able to conquer. Somebody heard me. The Bible says a man they call Jabez in the Bible. Jabez came to this world out of the pain of the delivery. The mother called him Jabez. Jabez means pain. Jabez means affliction. Jabez means sorrow. And do you know what happened? Because that name was mentioned, the devil clicked to that name and began to use it against the young man. There are people, their name is working against them. Is somebody hear me? Like somebody that is called uh, Ndidi. You keep on enduring. Keep on enduring. All the days of your life you'll be enduring. Is somebody hear me? Because I remember when we are still small, there was a young man, a young boy, they call him Didi Dead. And this guy began to encounter many challenges. And whenever he encountered a challenge, they would tell him, Didi, Didi. At a time, one of the Anglican priests called him. He said, What is 
your name. He said, Didi. He said, if you want to go far, change that name. If you don't change the name, people will be breaking your heart and you keep on enduring. So you are because the name of a person follows the person. I'll still tell you the mystery about names. Is somebody heard me? When Benjamin was born, out of the sorrow, the mother called him Benoni, which is sorrow. And the father said, never, and change it to Benjamin. Is somebody heard me? When they called the name of Abraham, Abraham was the father of little. God even intervened and changed it. Say, you cannot be father of little. You can be a father of nation. It shall be called Abraham. And today, Abraham becomes the father of nation, an example to the people of God. See, tomorrow we still pray for Abrahamic blessing because the name was changed from Abraham to Abraham. Your name determines the level you will get in life. Is somebody here me? Some people, their parents give them a good name. They will not change a nickname that put them in bondage. Somebody will answer small. That is the reason he is small in everything. Everything around him must be small. It's miracle, small. Money, small. Favor, small. Anything, small. Because that was the name he chose and in a spiritual realm. Maybe he has a good name. In the spiritual name, because he has chosen a small and he becomes small all the days of his life. Somebody's answering how to say all the demons, anywhere you go, the demons will start following you because you're already an arrow. So you can bring problems to yourself by the name you bear. You can cause sorrow. So the sorrow came upon Jabez and Jabez began to cry. Jabez began to encounter frustration. Jabez began to encounter sorrow. Jabez began to encounter failure. Other people were doing well. Other people were succeeding. But Jabez remained in a particular problem. Jabez keep on crying. And the Bible said, a day came Jabez understood that the name was giving him out of the sorrow what the mother passed through. And now he had been encountering sorrow upon sorrow. And the Bible said, Jabez began to pray. So whether devil like it or not, this name must be changed. I need to change this and take something better so that I will mount to something in my generation. And when Jabez prayed to my next time, there are dimensions you will pray. You begin to have the sensation of the spirit and the power of God. And something happened. The yoke was broken. And the Bible say, Jabez become more honorable, more honorable, more honorable than his brethren. I come to prophesy to somebody. I don't know where they have been causing pain in your life, where they have been causing pain in your career, where they have been causing pain in your destiny. After today, Jehovah will turn it around to be a laughter. That your sorrow has turned to joy. That your frustration shall turn to celebration. Can I hear a better amen here? Mighty God. Karada Baba Shata. Who is causing pain in my life? Who is afflicting me with sorrow? Do you know that 60 I'm um, 80, 85% of sickness today are spiritual. So many sickness has a foundation from the spiritual. And if you don't fight it through the spiritual, automatically you will lose it. I was watching somebody, the man they call, uh, I come across it, I don't like to watch the man, they call that he freeze. And he said he don't believe in sowing of seed. He don't believe in sacrifice. He don't believe in this one. He don't believe in the other one. And he's reading the scripture where the apostles sowed the seed. He was trying to twist it to something else that they were giving so that they can feed the poor. I begin to look at some people mentality. When you see such a thing, you know, already know this guy is an antichrist. 
Because anything you want to use to defend yourself in the scripture, you will see it. As I don't need to tell you to sow, but when you see the practical and see where you are sowing, set people free, you don't need anybody to teach you that. You sow. Nobody taught me how to sow. God taught me in the mountain. I came to the mountain to pray for something else. To pray for another thing. While I was praying, the Lord said, you are making your people poor. I said, God, how? He said, because you don't tell them to sow. And God began to tell me dimensions of soul. I returned back from the mountain. The Lord said, I will start from you. He said, give me your only car. I began to think it. Let me tell you, there are some seed that is not easy. When the Bible said that they are so in tears, there are seed that is in tears, really. I have only one car. God told me. Nobody prophesied to me. God told me. If God can told, tell me to sow, which means there is something called sowing. And the lunatic is talking from me, saying he don't believe on sowing or his Where they are talking, talking, they were talking against a man that gave his house to Christ's embassy. They, they, some people are saying, that, that, that's why I hate church. Some say they brainwash them. Some were talking nonsense. Christ's embassy church never beg the man to sow his house. Christ the Mercy Church never persuaded him to sow his house. They only preach. At least Christ the Mercy is one of the church they don't persuade people to give. They teach you. If they teach you willingly between you and God, you understand me? The young man now took his car and sow as a seed. Somebody got to me. After showing his car, he now went and collects the documents of his house. All those bloggers who are narrating those things, none of them have heard from the young man. Why did you show the house? The only thing the father of the young man came out and said, Our family house, my son used it and so it, that people should help me and talk to Christ in Basi to release the documents of our house. And so we are saying the guy brought eighty percent of the house of the money of the house. Others we are brought by their brothers. Nobody have heard from the boy. Nobody have made an attempt to extend to the young man to know the reason he used his house for his seed. Is somebody hearing me? When I sold my car, I didn't take permission from my father. I didn't take permission from my siblings. Is somebody hearing me? In fact, the last car I saw as a seed on January, because we are, I came back to I came to the village with that car, and uh, my brothers were because the person the lost I should give the car they know the person. I told them, the Lord said I should give her this car before I will leave. The other my brother didn't talk. He went and called the other guy. Say, imagine, how can this kind car? Our senior, senior bros put in order like this that is very nice. He said, God told him. He said, This is why I know they like all this. Uh, God told me, See, how can God tell it? Uh, God didn't see our family members here. And God is talking to another person there. Because he can't talk to me, the one he now talked to, someone courage and came. Say, Ah, bros, this is your car, final. Because he was not around when I said it. He said, I should be the, you give our, our papa this car. That is my father. It could have been nice that at least when he come back, instead of trekking with leg, he will be using the car for some time. I told him the Lord said, I should show this car to so so person. He said, For what? Now the person start church for you. How can God leave their family? God no remember my, my father. That he need a car. He don't have a car. And now go to another person. He said, bros, check with them. God said that in through through. You see it? I told him, okay, I don't need permission from you. The only thing, when you see the, the young man driving the motor, know that I have sold it as a seed. Is somebody getting me? 
and they went and tell my parents. My parents called for a meeting. My own property. God gave me. God said I should show. I told my father, this is the fifth car I'm giving out as a seed. Other ones, I didn't give it to you. You don't need a car for now. When the time comes, God will give us we'll buy a car for you. But for now, you don't need a car. Because when we give you a car, we need to maintain it. I say, besides, where you are living in Abba, no be any kind of car will enter there. Now this, they did go. There is one car, they call them Jeep, they call they did go. Because the river that you will pass before you get to their house is beyond the river. So, buying them a car is as, as if you want to go and punish them. Is somebody here me? So I told him, this is not for you. God said, as you say it, as you saw it. My father is a committed deeper life. He said, well, I'm going to put you mouth for the thing that God said. Now these boys come, come they tell me this. Say we should talk to you. <laughs> Maybe they are manipulating you. You know, see, member go manipulate pastor <laughs> to show what he have. So when member give to pastors, now pastor manipulate member. The world is confused. I rather do the mind of God and do the mind of anybody. And I keep out a car this January to the glory of God. I don't need anybody's permission. I need only permission of my wife. And we agreed. Even though if she said no, I'll still show it. But because she knew whether you said no or yes, the thing will still go. For the fact is for the work of God. It will go. Nothing will stop it. Is somebody getting me? That is God for you. Because I have known the secret. For me to stand in TV today. It's not because of prayer. It's because of sacrifice. Somebody heard me. This most dangerous zone to run ministry. But I was able to conquer, subdue, overcome. Yet I still stand. And I still preach in the Christ. Whatsoever that will stop the gospel of Christ not to move. Will not make, it's not meant to exist. So everybody's winding his mouth on the social media. Condemning Christ and Basic, calling Christ or Yakulumi, calling their names, fathers of faith. You are calling them. Who are you? Where do you come from? Common house. The house is not even complete. It's an old house. I saw it on the social media. One man, one old house. How much will be the house? Christ or Yakulumi went to uh, uh, Church of God Mission, in the house of church, when they were opening the university. Christ or Yakulumi saw a seed of one billion. One billion. That was what Christ Yakilomi gave. He, when he came out of one billion, Margaret Oyakilo, um, um, Margaret Dahosa rushed in and brought out the Bible in Dahosa is using when he was alive and take it and give it to Christ Oyakilomi. Oyakilomi said, This is the best gift I have received so far all the days of my life. The Bible in Dahosa is using. They hand it over to him. Why? He provoked heaven. A man who we are able to sow a seed of one billion. You are talking of a house that can not, it's not up, up to what, 20, 20 million. Now. And you know, some people who don't know anything is calling the man a name for no reason. Who born you? Where did you come from? People look, looking for their death on the social media for nothing said. You have not consulted the pastors. The pastors have not spoken. The young man have not spoken. And blockers are carrying it. How many blockers have carried something of a Muslim? They don't go that side. Because they believe you are, you are already writing your will. You are dead already. This man, a Muslim scholar, they called uh, Gumi, was negotiating with the bandits. If he's Oyedebo or Adeboi, go for that negotiation. You will see people that will run their mouth. They call themselves men of God. All these men of God. So they are now working with the bandit. Nobody talk where a Muslim scholar was negotiating with the bandits. We are the bloggers. They don't even carry it in their blood war. But even if they pastor, they start analyzing. Time I've come home. That 
when you talk, you die. Dino said, if you talk, you die. If you don't talk, you die. Should I talk or should I not talk? So it's better you talk and you die. Time is coming when the church will stand in one accord to fight their common enemy. All these blockers with the talk rubbish, church will gather together, hold their hands and speak. Render them to let them see the power in Christ. Because if you don't manifest power, children will use your play. I'm telling the truth. The way they draw stones to the fathers of faith, they don't do it to native doctors. They don't do it to them. They don't do it to Islamic scholars. They don't do it to other religion. Why must it be Christianity? It's a time the church will wake up and fight their common enemy. Everything will be prayer. It's only one threat. If you be threatened for that, that it freeze, you know they talk about the Yedepo again. He now come down. If you be said, if you talk against the Yedepo again, that it freeze, I will fight you. I will kill you. Mark it anywhere. Talk again. You call him old, uh, old again, poor head. He said, if you talk again, that it freeze, he come down. You know they come out again and so Yedepo, Adepo here. He come down because of one threat. And the man threatened he mean it, he will do it. He mean it and he's going to do it. Smart time they will tell you, a uh, uh, Christian, he didn't behave like a Christian. Did you talk like, how will Christian talk? You slap me, tell him, I can turn the other side. I put him, not say, turn the other cheek. He say, if you slap me, turn the other side. It may be two by two. He didn't say the other cheek. You turn the other cheek, they don't slap you well. There are other sides of your life. This nonsense must stop about the church. We are always, Jesus said, I came to bring peace. In the other hand, I came to bring sword. That aspect of the sword, nobody is talking about it. Anybody will come out on social media whining about as our fathers in the Lord, fathers of faith, bring them down, talk nonsense against them and go free. No, it's a child we wake up, the church will wake up. How can they talk against your spiritual father? And you are there saying, you know, No, no, well, God will judge, and only God knows the truth. Uh, you, 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 yet you have problem, you still rush your spiritual problem, they will still pray for you and handle your case. Enough is enough, enough. This nonsense must stop. Is somebody hear me? He said, Time people, the Bible said they came to arrest Jesus. Peter brought his cutlass, caught somebody here. Assuming Jesus was not appointed to die, he could have caught another ear. Let me tell you, when he caught the ear, Jesus said to Peter, Leave them, put back your sword. Jesus didn't collect the sword and say amnesty, amnesty. No, he said put back because there is another ear to cut again. Hello. There are still ears you need to cut. But this one you cut. Well done, boy. But I'm going to fix it back because it is my purpose to die for the kingdom of Christ. So I need to die so salvation may come. Jesus never condemned Peter. He tell him Put down the sword, which means they carry sword and they were following Jesus. They were not empty. Hello. They were not empty. They were carrying something for self-defense. And Christians will tell you, it is well, it is well, it is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my because of what people will say, people will be making mockery of you. You never stand to speak when you lay a cause and they say, Imagine a Christian and you are panicking. Then, let me tell you, people are permitted to talk. If you are poor, they will talk. If you are rich, they will talk. Will you be poor or rich? Be rich and let them talk. Let them talk. Create the history. Let them talk. They are permitted to talk. I am not afraid of what people say against me. They have been talking long ago. I am not afraid of anybody. If you come across my way, heaven will strike you dead. Who said God not the king? God the king. God is not the one that keeps silent. You are pressing these people. 
the only way the devil succeeded is to make the church not to be united. Church is scattered. Our fathers are not in one accord. Assuming they are in one accord, who will challenge Christianity in this country? Nobody. The enemy succeeded in making them not to come to come together. Could you imagine in a place now they gather? The Soyedefo was there. Adeboi was there. Olukoye is there. Uh, uh, Christ Embassy is there. Um, Odipa Life is there. Watchman is there. Lord Chuzin is there. Christ Okafo is there. Uh, Jeremiah Motofe is there. Suleiman is there. And they join hand and cry unto the Lord. Do you think God no go answer? If you like, be the highest demon. Heaven will uproot you and send you to your ancestors. In Dahosa was only radical man. We are still praying for the kind of Idahosa to still come. A man who stood and challenged with and said the meetings of the witches will not stand. Me and pray, let God give me that grace. Is somebody hear me? Make God give me that grace of Idahosa so that we people need to be dealt with before they will learn lesson. The Bible said when the first 50 came to Elijah, all man of God, they were arrogant. Elijah commanded, they die all. Second, the king died. They tell the king they respect themselves. Man of God, you know, you are not in the king. We are sorry, sir. No king lost are like other 50 years old. If you remain, if you kill us, eh? you know, you don't have to show mercy. Sir, please, have mercy. We are your children. Have mercy on your people, God. And when they now learn how to respect men of God, Elijah, Elijah show mercy. Is somebody hearing me? If our fathers in faith can join to at least one blocker that is talking against people of God, that his assignment is against the church, uproot him on earth, and you will see other blockers. Enough. The church is passing through a lot, and people are doing nonsense. People are doing what they feel like. When I was living in Teddy, my landlord, he came to use me to play with, because they believe, you know, once you're a pastor, your area, you don't go uh, react. When my landlord began to do some funny things, the gossip people gossip are against me in Teddy, they will come to the yard and call a meeting and use the gossip and be speaking against me in the meeting. I call him again, please sir. If you call up for a meeting for neighbor, you know saying a neighbor, for anything issue of yard, that thing you are saying, you are going beyond expectation. Don't say it again. The man say, they say you are an occultic man. It's like you are an evil man. You are this, you are that. The man talk, 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 talk. I kept silent to a level. I want the man the next to us. I respect elders. Sir, please respect yourself. Don't do this again. The man continued. When I wanted to talk, the wife rushed me and hijacked me. Say, who are you to talk to my husband like that? I said, madam, in my family, we know they touch women. If you leave me, watch what I will do to your husband. Since he came to disgrace me in the midst of the, because I'm living under his house, I will tell him, there are people who are mad in Christ. I taught the man lesson that day. After that day, not only the man begin to respect me, people in Tedino say, no, you need to carry Bible. Everything will be peace, 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 this is where. I say it on air. The man knows me very well. I taught the man lesson that day. He know you don't push people to the wall and tell them because you are in Christ, nothing will happen. They collect your land. They say, it is where. They now shift there, they get collect another one. <laughs> it is where. Glory be to God. They shifted another one. Before they will collect your house, in the name of Christianity, you have no house to live. You say it is well. Who born the devil? If you take what belongs to me, I teach you a lesson that you can never forget. Somebody took your destiny. <laughs> you are saying, God have me see upon them. No problem. That is your prayer point. Hello. There are aspects of mercy. There are aspects of life being a lion. The Bible said Jesus is a lamb of God that was laid. In the other hand, he was a lion of tribe of Judah. Lion, not a mercy for any animal. Lamb is always humble. 
There are times to be lamb. There are places to be lamb. There are places to be a lion. They should stop using all these. Uh, you're a Christian. Hey, don't talk. Hey, man of God. You don't. I say, hey, me. Nobody try him. This area, try him. I'm very humble. I will not find your trouble. I serve my God to the core. I follow God. But don't push me to the world because you believe I'm a pastor. I will show you another level of madness. Is somebody get to me? So I don't care what people say. I don't care what people talk. Jesus came in the day at the temple and he had been warning this people preaching the Christ. This is a place of prayer. If Jesus came down and was telling them, please, I beg, no, I go outside. Do you think they will listen to him? Jesus carry Kopoku. Enter the house of God. Flog the first man. Flog the first woman. They carry their thing, ran out of the out of the house of God. Is somebody hearing me? Somebody is killing you in the name of Christ. God of mercy and compassion. Look with pity upon me. My papa. Somebody extended to his own land. My father said, It is well, it is well. Because they heard that we are we are men or a pastor, that we are the first son of a pastor. And uh, my father is a man of God. His brothers, they come past the first son now, and the person now encroach. We come back the first time. Say these people encroach our land. Second, Second time. time. They now shifted the hand from that place. Enter again small. We came back on Christmas. I said, who do these things? My father said, leave them all. You know these people. I said, huh? I said, daddy, you have shared your land. You no get possession for here again. Here, yeah. now my own. Here, now my brother own. And these people encroach. I call the guy, they encroach his land. I said, remove everything they left for the land. Well, call them to come, they refuse to come. Call them the second time, they refuse to come. The third time, when we left for the land, left for all the crops and everything, they now came by themselves. Call for a meeting. I said, why did you people, you include the first time, we didn't talk. And uh, it was not enough, you now encroach the second one. Who born you? To do that kind of rubbish. The man said it was the people that they said to cultivate the place. Then I, I said, then they cultivate it. He said, ah. I said, they cultivate it. I now carry them. Go to the normal first place where they grow before. Go now get to that place. Oh, yeah. The woman said, Is it where you want? I said, Yes, that's where you stand before. Me and my brother, oh, we are there. Oh, yeah. My brother has carried this thing. Put a beacon. The market, if you cross this beacon next time, you will know you are looking for trouble. After two months, I asked them, go and check whether they are selling that land. The man said, after the thing that did to us, we won't make you sell the land. Amen. Amen. That Christ teach you humility, peace. Does not make you a coward. Is somebody other me? It does not make you a coward. He's the line of travel, Judah. Stand in your ground. Don't allow people to push you to the wall. There are things it will get you. The boy that was doing my electrical work, he believed I'm a pastor. If he eats my money, I will forgive him. Second time he eats, I tell him to go and bring the money. He said, uh, Man of God, you know, he begin to do one kind of a thing. One day, I tell him, Enter motor, we are going for work. He told us to work. He entered motor, I drive him to police station. I tell him, Arrest him. They arrest him, put him behind the counter. What did you do? He ate my money, give me my money. He said, ah, But now both of us come out now. He didn't tell me. As I told you before, he didn't listen. So go behind the bar and pay me. The police say, Are you OE? He said, Yes. Why did you want to pay? Now my pastor, now, eh, leave pastor for now. Pay me first. I said, if you don't pay, you will sleep there. I write my own statement. Him too, right. 
they call his wife. They have to bring ATM. Withdraw the money. Pay me in gas station. I collect my money, put for pockets. Or that bell yourself, make we go. He bell himself, I still carry with my car, drop him. I'm telling you what I did. The one doing generator, I did him the same thing. I'm telling you to buy one generator for me. He went and buy fake and come back. I tried to call him, come and change the generator. He's not picking my call. I now send the same uh, electrician that I arrested. Call him for work. And they call him. And the guy was coming. He wants to do work. We were waiting with my car with the police. He didn't need bike drop him. I come out. Ah, ah, man of God. I arrested him. They put him in the car. We're driving to station. We keep it there. When are you changing the generator? One, I don't know his shop. We're now with the police. We're driving to where his shop is. We now know his shop. We're driving to where his house is. We know his house. I say, well, no problem. But he says, since we have no his shop and no when are you bringing the generator? He said, uh, tomorrow. Police said they never bail you. We'll still go back to the station. You go back so that they will bail you. They took him back to the station. When he came to the station, he was begging me. Oh God, Pastor, please bail me now. <laughs> Amen. As half the one that reported the case, I can't bail you. He had to call somebody to come and bail him. So since that time, if you tell him what to do, ah, he will come and do it perfectly. Because they knew there are other side of you. When there are level you will joke with people, they will, they will take you for granted. So the only thing, push them to the law. When they come out, they still be your friend and they will respect you. So since then, the electrician cannot eat my money. When they were wiring my house, the boy we said, uh, I bought those things for, the wire they didn't reach. And I went to the guy, I don't know anything about the wire. The guy now brought fake wires. Supply me fake wires. Send it to them. <laughs> the division called the boy. He took the men from the receipts and called the boy. So I got, if you know the man that told you to give him original, this man will go there and arrest you. He said, I'll just cover me up. The man will not know. He said, that man, they see vision. I don't chop him money. He see me in a vision. And hold me, I pay the money. He may see it in vision that the thing is fake. And he tried to bribe the electrician. And he said, I will call Pastor and tell him. He called me, Sir. Before God will show you, saying a fake wire will wire in your house. I know saying that me will go arrest. That boy from Alaba, a fake wire. He brought. I called the guy. I said, Look, I'll give you 24 hours. Make sure. Those wire, original one, get to my place. How you will do it will be is not my concern. But in 24 hours, if I didn't get it, sir, I'm sorry, you will hate yourself in life because I will fight you with every means because we're wicked man. I called the call. He called the guy. He said, What did he do? He said, You see how he tell you that thing? He will do it to the end. Though. He has dealt with me. Today we are good friends. He has dealt with some of my people. We are not good friends. You know they find trouble, no find him. At least in my area, they know me as a good man. And they know me, I don't take nonsense. And when you come, you respect yourself. One of my pastors, somebody, because he was telling them about Christ, they beat him. Beat him, push him inside the gutter. You don't even tell me. For this day, you beat my pastor, push him in gutter. The boy told me, he tell me that time, you know, I will react. I said, I've been looking for people to use as an example in this land so that they will know there is God in heaven. Amen. 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 You don't look for trouble, believe in God. The law abiding, obey the rules of the state, obey the rules of government, but don't allow people to push you to the wall. That is where Christians are suffering. They tell you freely you receive and freely you give. The little thing is say offering money. Who offering money feed? I told them last night when my pastors were talking, uh, 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 Pastor, no, they give us share for offering money. I called them, I have two of you should be counting offering money. 
And when they finish this meeting, I said, take the remaining one. The first day, it was 700 and something. They manage it, travel themselves, take themselves to their houses. You know, which at least me, normally, I they give them more than that. Sometimes I give them 5,000 on Sunday. In the month, I will still give them their money. But how, is the, how did they get the money? They don't know. They don't know offering money. When they count offering money, one day, they said, uh, remaining one. I said, take it also. <laughs> I said, Pastor, I didn't come with transport. I 15 naira remaining. <laughs> 15 naira. I didn't come with transport. I said, make people they enjoy the thing. Why they enjoy? If people can't, I think they come with better money. Now 20 naira. Close it. Dance 500 naira. Dance. Drop 20 naira. They offer it. Somebody hear me. After today, you shall weep no more. Don't allow people to push you the wall. Police station is meant to settle some issues and for people not to intimidate you for no reason. Some people say, No, we are Christian. Uh, let me just forgive. There are things you forgive and forget, they will still come back again. There are things that will happen. You push it to the court and settle the case once and for all. We take some things granted and it's taking us to, to where we can't even find ourselves out. Because we are afraid of what people will talk. Let me tell you, even when you do good, they will talk. Pastors give out car. Nobody even televise it and carry it around. Suleiman build houses for people. Nobody, no blocker carry it. All the good things they have been doing, nobody was carrying it. Somebody now say, ah, it's left.